We have a bit of a rule here in general, I'd say, in City Line. When it comes to cooking, um, we all know I don't do a lot of it, but a lot of you do, the viewers. When it comes to cooking, you always want seasonal, you always want fresh. So I got three guys, and they very much believe in this. It's our three chefs. Come on in here. <laughs> Jason Carson, <laughs> You guys are all about seasons. Yeah. The local, the season. So you look at what's in season and then you make your recipes based on that. And we, I think it's a great way to yeah. eat and to live. We've said this so many times. You go to the market and if it's on the stand, it's ready to go and it's already tasting amazing. You know, like if you're looking for something and it was like, you know, six months ago, then it's going to sit on a truck and it's not going to taste the same at all. Half That's your right. job is already done because yeah. you're starting with the best ingredients. Uh -huh. We just don't have to mess them up and everything is going to turn out well. There well. you go. So it's laziness, really, that <laughs> yeah, inspires yeah, yeah. you to yeah, be seasonal. Much. I yeah. love the honesty. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to start uh, with a peach ragu. Yeah, peaches. I mean, yes. I love these guys. You know, it's um, it's a little early in the season, so yeah. they're a little firm right now. Um, the flavor is still there. Yeah. But what's great is we're going to cook them. We're going to pull that flavor out. We're going to open it up. You know, I think if you bite into this right now, it would be good, but it's a little lacking. Yes. You know. But wouldn't you rather cook with them when they're still? Kind well, that's of firm? why you kind of again right? you work with the seasons, right? Yes. So now I'm cooking with them, whereas if it's like two or three weeks from now. I'm not cooking them now. I'm now I'm just doing them fresh with dressings on there and right. vinaigrettes and whatever and letting it sing that way. Got it. Um, thing I love though is look at these guys. Uh, mm. Those are beautiful <laughs> East Coast scallops. Gorgeous. You know, nice. They call them diver scallops. So some guys swimming down there to pick them up. U10s. But, uh, U10s, so they're nice and big. Mm -hmm. um, but I think fish with like fruit and things like that, it's kind of nice. You know, yes. seafood is fresh. It's kind of the acidity, the brightness. Um, these are challenging to cook though. Yeah. Right, because everybody kind of, you know, when you cook them, they turn into like rubber bands, right? People are a little intimidated by the yeah. scallops, I would say. So give me a little splash in there for me. Nice, hot, that's pretty cool. Yeah, a little splash. <laughs> not deep fried. <laughs> not deep fried, no. <laughs> you a lot there. Um, but that's good. No, but you want a nice, hot pan, and this is what you do, is you actually just dab them on paper towel first, and I when you put them dry. in, watch your fingers, there but you move go. them around. Let them get a little sear on them, okay? Okay. And you're just gonna kinda keep drying them off and sear them around. And what that does is it allows them, they're gonna stick a little bit, but not too much. You want that crust, yeah. right? But yeah. once, yeah, exactly, that crust. And then once they get going, then you leave them alone and let the color, like, take on them, you know? Dab them off, and you can notice, raw scallops, no seasoning, nothing. Right. If I season them up with salt right now, the moisture's gonna come out and they're gonna boil in the pan. Oh, I see. Right. So you're doing the moving them, or the little dance with them just so that they don't stick. You got it, kind of like. Then you, and then you let them be. And, and then. Trapping the moisture inside. Yep, mm. and then let them go. Okay. All right, while that's happening. I trust you'll be okay while we ignore you. Because <laughs> <laughs> now we have to ignore them. They're ignoring us now, because they're not saying anything. They're not talking to you, yeah. not to worry. Um, so then, at the same time, it's all about timing, right? So now you got another cast iron pan over here. Double smoked bacon. Oh. Good times. And the it recipe is, is finished. Times. I know, that's <laughs> it. Right? Still some of the bowl. Well, the the it. I can tell you that about 15 minutes ago, this was a mountain, and then if you look, Mazma's quite happy right now. Okay. But here's the thing, double smoked bacon. It's been cured, um, it's been smoked. So a lot of the fat has been kind of uh, almost solidified in there. Right. So it's not like a breakfast bacon, I'll give you that. You can give it a stir. Um, yeah. So if you were using, I love that little spoon. Yeah, I know. That's the smallest I stole right that from work. We used it as serving, and I'm like, oh, it's so cute. It's I gotta so bring cute. it on. It's still better than using your it's, fingers. It's just for you. <laughs> um, but with this, you can just cook it down, and you don't have to worry about the fat because it's good fat. Yes, if it you, is good fat. It's good. Yeah. It really is. All good for fat you. is good fat. Yeah, let's go with that. Throw that out there. Yeah. It's good. I'm a believer. I, Come on. Breakfast bacon. Though, oh, like oh. You put that in there, it's gonna be swimming. Yes. So here's the thing: if you can't find double smoked bacon, then you want to cook the back and you, you can see right now because it's instantly caramelizing. Yeah. The fat's like rendering a little bit, but you get an instant. There's not a there. lake in there, right? But if there's a lake in there, strain that off because yes. we, we're going to add cream to this. It's going to be pretty rich. Okay. You don't want it to be all that bacon fat. In there. All right. Got okay. It. But then, speaking of that, let's just add a bit of butter to it. Oh, yeah, well. Oh, I like these little medallions of butter. butter. So, this That's is our great. ice wine butter from the winery, so oh. I thought I'd bring that up. But you don't have to use that. But we're just adding a little, bit of, a little bit of butter, and then just and a little bit more butter. a little bit more action. You yep. want a longer spoon, because it's going to spit on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's an avatar. You know what? Let's just watch it. I just got this. It did it on purpose. It did it on purpose. Now, for, back to your styles for a second. You yeah. haven't turned the heat up no, or down nothing. or anything. Left you're them keeping alone. the same heat. Taking okay. a lot. They're just ticking back away. Back to ignoring you. And you almost want to cook them about, I would say, 80% oh, of the way. Oh, nice and foamy. Yeah, we're getting up right. So now, shallots. 
Beautiful. And look at that nice nutty, nutty look at flavor that in there. Bubbly goodness oh, over there. That is good. Put it all in. Right. Corn. Yep. Right off the. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. No frozen corn. Right off the uh, the cob. You know, just cut it off raw. Oh, it's wait, very wait, wait, good wait. right now. Yeah. There you go. A little bit of strings in there. And then fresh peaches. Okay. You know? Oh, there we go. That's just pretty right there. Well. You know, and that is the just simple peaches, just cut up. They look a little wet there because last night I cut them, so I tossed them in a little lemon juice so they wouldn't discolor. Oh, okay. Okay, but yep. you could just take a peach right out, chop it up, throw it in there. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're going to talk about the skins, um, you know, of how they're a little bit softer sometimes at certain know. times of the year. Yep. You know, so right now, I mean, they're, they're nice and thin, so you can leave the skins on. Lovely. Okay. So they're not going to get too chewy. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're almost there. Yep. You're uh, letting this sit for a bit. You're going to add cream. Oh, yeah. You want some leaves or basil? This is a serious yeah. stuff. Yeah. Add a little bit of cream in there. And then uh, here, you just rip, rip some basil, guys. Yeah. I got sweet basil. Nice. I've got cinnamon basil. We've got a little spicy uh, lemony kind of basil. Just cinnamon basil. I know oh, you yeah. haven't oh, flipped these guys now. yet, but do you on, think man. we can play? You want me to? Yeah, we can do this. Yeah. Let's do it. We can do a TV play. Look at this. Well, we know we're good. Look, boom. Look we know one that. side's good. Beautiful. Yep, a little bit of salt and pepper. Boom, boom, and there we go. In goes the ragu. Look at this. Oh, a little bit of cheese in there right last minute. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Wow. Yes. Saint wow. Is that brie? Oh, 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 oh. And you want that right last minute so it starts to get all gooey in there, right? Right. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. You oh, oh. Beautiful. And I just love the fact that you got the smokiness of the bacon. So many you got different the textures of the and peaches. flavors. And then those beautiful oh, scallops. Scallops. Gorgeous. 